Welcome to the EverFact channel. In this video, we examine the new behavior and rules of the Taliban. The city of Herat in western Afghanistan was the first metropolis to be captured by the Taliban. Although both strong security forces and insurgents were present in large numbers in Herat, the city surrendered to the Taliban without a fight. In the first days of the fall of the city, the Taliban became tolerant and peaceful when dealing with the people, earlier than anywhere else in Afghanistan. Herati students, including girls, began their studies, no one warned them to grow a beard or listen to music in the machine, and even female reporters resumed their activities. But this was a short-term process. The Taliban showed its true face after consolidating its presence in Herat and subsequently throughout Afghanistan. The first clashes between the Taliban in Herat and even other cities in Afghanistan were over how to cover the people. For the first time, a young man from Herat was flogged for not wearing the clothes that the group considers to be national and religious clothes. As a result, the Taliban forced people to pray in mosques in parts of Herat city. In parts of Herat, the Taliban are said to have gone to mosques and asked for a list of people coming to the mosque. This issue gradually worried the people, rumors of the Taliban being harsh on people were also heard on social media. Next, the Taliban set up checkpoints in the city of Herat to inspect people's vehicles. The Taliban stopped and smashed any vehicle with its music player on. The issue was also reported on social media, but the Taliban did not respond. Another challenge is that the Taliban have no punishment in their judicial vocabulary other than killing. Just two days ago, Saturday, a Taliban fighter was shot dead in the center of Kabul because a private car driver ignored his stop, and although this was reported in the media, no one blamed the killer. These are strong evidences of the continuing Taliban violence against the people. Although no one expects the Taliban to form a popular or Islamic system in the modern sense, even these relatively carefree days under Taliban rule seem to be coming to an end. Commands such as separating female and male students, housewives of female government employees, breaking car dealerships and field trials are symbols of the Taliban's return to normalcy and the beginning of the process of regressing Afghan society.